Hello, in this activity we're going to connect a bulb to our hand crank generator. Here's our bulb, we can see the circuit symbol here and we can see that we have two yellow terminals on our bulb holder. That means that it doesn't matter which way round we connect our bulb, it should still operate. So I'm going to connect a black lead to this terminal of our bulb holder and this red plug to our second terminal of our bulb holder. So here's our hand crank generator. And first of all, I'm going to turn the handle very slowly in a clockwise direction. You should be able to see that our bulb lights up. It's very dim, but it is working. So as in previous activities, we've shown that the electrical output is dependent on the rate which you turn the hand crank generator handle. So if I increase the rotation of the handle, you should be able to see that our bulb becomes brighter. So the faster I turn the handle, the brighter the bulb becomes. So we've been turning our crank handle in a clockwise direction. What happens if I turn it in an anti-clockwise direction? So first of all, very slowly, and you should be able to see that our bulb is lighting it's very dim again, but it is working. And again, if I increase the rate in which I turn the handle, you should be able to see that a bulb becomes brighter. Okay, so in the first part of our experiment, we've been able to show that our hand crank generator can create an electrical output that allows our bulb to work. Also, it doesn't matter if we turn the crank handle clockwise or anti-clockwise. And we've also been able to show that the bulb is brighter when we turn our crank handle at a greater rate. So the output from our crank handle increases dependent on the rate at which we turn the handle. What would happen if we introduce a second bulb? So here we are. And this time I'm going to connect them in parallel. So I'm going to connect a lead here to the black plug in our first terminal socket on our first bulb holder and connect it to this terminal in our second bulb holder. Then I'm going to take another lead and connect it to the red plug here in our first bulb holder terminal and connect it to this terminal of our second bulb holder. Now, first of all, if I turn the crank handle clockwise but slowly, you can see that both bulbs do light. They're very dim. So once again, as I turn the crank handle slowly, we have a lower output, which means that our bulbs only light very dimly. But if I increase the rate at which I turn the handle, you should be able to see that our bulbs do light up. Now you might notice that I'm not being able to, I'm not spinning the handle as quickly as I was in the previous activity. And that's because it's harder for me to turn the handle. There's more load. 
There's much more load on the handle than there was it when I was using a single bowl. Now, if you're doing it yourself, you should be able to feel this as you're turning the handle. It's much more difficult to turn. So what happens if I turn it in an anti-clockwise direction? So again, we can see that the bulbs do light up and slowly turn the handle. But if I increase the rotation speed, you can see that our bulbs light up and they're brighter. But again, there's more load on this handle through the hand crank generator, which means that it's more difficult for me to turn. It means that I'm having to use more effort to turn the handle, which means that the work done has increased as well. So I've wired the two bulbs in parallel, what would happen now if I wire the two bulbs in series? So if I disconnect the leads, I'm going to put the two bulbs and bulb holders together here, and I'm going to leave the black plug in the first terminal, but I'm going to connect the red plug to the last terminal in the second bulb holder. So I'm going to connect just one lead. So one lead goes into the second terminal of our first bulb holder and it connects to the first terminal of our second bulb holder. So now our bulbs are wired in series. So very Slowly, I'm going to turn the hand crank generator clockwise direction. And you can see that the bulbs do light up. And if I increase the rate rotation of the handle, then you can see that our bulbs are brighter. Now, the load that I was experiencing when the bolts were wired in parallel has gone. It's much easier for me to turn the handle on the hand crank generator with these bolts in series. So if I turn the handle anti-clockwise, in an anti-clockwise direction now, you can see that again, slowly, the bolts do light up and if I increase the rate that I turn the handle, you can see the bulbs light up. So in this part of the experiment, we've been able to show that there's an increased load on the hand crank generator if we have our bulbs in parallel and that means that we have to do more work to allow the bulbs to light as brightly. Whereas if we have them wired in series, the workload, the load on the hand crank generator is less for us to achieve the same brightness in the bulb.